to talk to, uh, uh, to Margaret. Hi, Margaret. Good morning. Well, this... um... Good to hear all that's going on. <laughs> was that was that music to your ears, was it, our conversation there with Gemma? Very, very good, yeah. Good. Lovely. I'm one of the older, older people. Well, well <laughs> listen, don't don't go mad now. Don't don't put the phone down and, and, and get a cob on. Can I ask how old you are? I'm 76. And how old do you feel on the inside? Oh, about 21. Exactly. <laughs> well, this is my point. You know, we all get a little bit grey and a bit wrinkly and a bit creaky, but on the inside, we don't, do we? No, that's right. But the, I think the big problem is everything that Gemma said is true. But for Bright Life, who I'm working with, it, I, I don't know whether you're going to say anything about it. Well, why don't you tell me all about it? So it's lottery funding that Cheshire West have received, really to reach the isolated and lonely older people. Uh, we know that there's loads and loads of good things happening in the community for older people. Providing that they're mobile, the mobility is good, that yep. the transport is there. But for those people who can't get out, it's very, very difficult to to get into the community and meet people. So what kind of things are going on then, Margaret? And what kind of role c can I play and other um, younger members of, of the community? What, what role can they play in, in, in helping older people to do this? I think what we need to do in the community is be able to reach those people, for people in the, in the neighbours to say, I know somebody next door but one who would like to do something but can't get there, so that we can buddy and do things together with them. And that is what the aim of Bright Life is really trying to do. It's trying to reach those people. Um, there's all sorts of walking clubs, there's sort of, um, uh, luncheon clubs, mm. All the uh, walking football, which is fantastic for men, for the men who want to do something. Oh, do you know what, Margaret? I've played in that. I've had a little go. I went out on a job and did the walking football thing. And I, I, I tell you what, they're vicious. It's one of the vicious football, <laughs> most vicious football teams I've ever played against. But it was a great day. And it's getting out there and it's just getting yeah. involved, isn't it? So, it's, they, as you say, they haven't the confidence, they haven't got the transport, but if a neighbour can perhaps put them in touch with Bright Life, uh, we can try and sort that out and get them to work what they want to do and keep them busy. Well, Margaret, can I just, can I just leave you with, with this thought? And sometimes older people, not every older person, but sometimes old, older people can feel as though they haven't got a contribution to make anymore because they've, they've been there, they've done it, their kids have grown up, they've gone, they may be on their own, they may be, you know, rattling around at a big old house somewhere and feel isolated or feel as though they haven't got a contribution to make. The wealth of knowledge and um, wiseness from, from that age group, from your age group, yes. is immense. And we can't let that just fade away. We need to tap into this and we need to pass the knowledge on, don't we? Yes, everybody, every old person has got a wonderful story to tell. And it's just listening to them. And it's, our Bright Life is so amazing because it is giving people that opportunity. The older people have got to make the decisions of how... Um, things are made available for people All right. being listened to.